welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a video that I am so excited to film and I, I just can't wait to get into it. So let's get started. So yes, as you probably saw from the thumbnail, we are showing, I'm showing you, we are showing you, um, I'm showing you guys all of the grails I've gotten recently. I got two, two of my biggest grails, my most wanted grails um and i'm so excited you guys to show you and then i got one that i didn't know was a grail until i like found i was it was one of those ones that i was like i'm never gonna be able to get to for a good price and i saw it for a good price and i was like yes i'm so excited happy my collection oh my gosh i need to come down <laughs> with that all being said let's go ahead and get into the bags so yes also i'm like kind of testing out like a mic so let me know if you guys like this or my normal sound energy <laughs> better i'm trying to test it out and see if you guys can hear me better because i know sometimes i don't talk the loudest in my videos and it's because i don't want other people to hear me in my house because i do film kind of late so i don't want to wake up everybody in my house <laughs> um but i'm still really really excited to show you guys so i wanted to like i wanted to test it out so let me know let me know let me know um, and I also know there's ambient noise a lot of time. Ambient noise? Ambient noise. <laughs> um, luckily the storms have stopped for a little while. Here in California, we are having a huge storm system as of me filming this. You probably won't see it till weeks after, but it's been going. It's been storming all day and then it's coming back this weekend. So it's been a whole thing. Oh, right, Melissa. We're going to get into the... <laughs> We're gonna get into the bags. I think I'm gonna start with, I don't wanna say my least favorite because they're all super exciting. <sighs> I'm gonna finish with my most favorite, but yeah, let's just get into it. All right, I wanna preface this by saying this bag is in rough shape, but I'm still really excited to show you guys. <sighs> okay, <laughs> it is the Disney Parks. Ooh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, see? me testing out i'm not used to it yet <laughs> anywho it is the disney world parks 2018 annual pass holder aop bag <laughs> i am so excited about this bag you guys i like i've known this bag existed but like i didn't know like <laughs> it there's just so few for sale that i like knew i would never get it so it's never been on my grill list and then I saw it for the price that I saw it. And I was like, you know what, Melissa? This is me one chance. Just buy it. So I got it. It is in rough shape. Like from far away, it looks fine. You can see a few little scrapes. But the back is like where it's in the worst shape in the top. So I will get into all that. With that being said, I paid $50 for this bag. Now, new with tags, it is currently listed at $600. I'm not paying that much money for a bag. No. <laughs> Um, I will have my most expensive bag in this video, FYI, which I will get to. Um, but yes, so this is not technically a lounge fly. I don't think it's lounge fly style, but it's just Disney Parks brand. As you can see, it doesn't have the logo. At least I don't believe it's lounge fly because it also doesn't have the logo on this like um, zipper pulls. So we will see though. But let me get into this bag. Let me show you all the details and everything. So first things first, we have to start with the zipper pull. This is a 2018 annual pass holder bag. Um, it says discover the magic 2018 Disney World annual pass holder. There is a Disneyland version of this, which I don't think I'm gonna get because I have the Disney World version. I don't know if I need the Disneyland version, even though I'm more of a Disneyland kind of girl. I don't know. I like waver between wanting to collect everything Disneyland and everything Disney World. Like you can tell behind me, it's mostly Disney World <laughs> related stuff, but I don't know. I like waffle back and forth, but for now, I'm very happy to have the Disney World version. Um, the front pocket, let me see, has a bunch of the icons. Goofy is like front and center, but the Hollywood Tower of Terror, which is one of my favorite icons, is also there. Then there's the Epcot. Like, if you can see this, they have the, like, titles or the names of the parks stamped in, which I absolutely love. I'm obsessed with it. But, like, look at this. He's eating popcorn. Now, I'm not usually a figment girl. Mostly because I'm not a huge fan of the ride. Um, but I do think he's freaking adorable. <laughs> and then it has a bunch of the, like, um, the 
world showcase ones and including america which i feel like you never see america on anything so i love that they included america what is that is that the living with the lambo <gasps> guys it's the living with the lambo i cannot tell you how obsessed with living with the land i am um when i lived in orlando i literally every time i went to um epcot i would go like every single time on living with the land i love living with the land <laughs> No matter if it was like, sometimes I had to wait like 15 minutes, but I would still go on living with land. I freaking love that. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Oh my gosh, I really haven't taken a good detailed look at this because I wanted to save my reaction for this. I opened it up and inspected it, make sure everything was okay. Because I did buy this off of eBay and I just wanted to make sure everything was fine. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh my gosh, okay. So in the bottom you can see it has a little bit of the animal kingdom section and more pigment moving on to goofy i know i skipped over goofy but you can see there's also the entrance like pilars type of thing where like it looks like the futuristic 50s type of thing i okay i say you know here's the thing i love hollywood studios too because i think hollywood studios just has so many great rides and attractions and that kind of stuff but like, it's not my top favorite. It's my third favorite because I love Animal Kingdom so much. I have an emotional connection to Animal Kingdom. If you didn't know, I worked in Animal Kingdom um, and I love Magic Kingdom because obviously I love princesses. I love everything sparkly and castles. So I have to love Magic Kingdom, but I do really appreciate Hollywood Studios. So yeah, okay, back. <laughs> and it has like a little movie. What is this called? Slacker thing. Of course, some fireworks sprinkled throughout. What else? here what is that oh some like movie symbols i think i can't, i honestly can't tell what that is that's so interesting so yeah figment was the like icon for um not hollywood studios oh my gosh for epcot goofy is the icon for hollywood studios and then on, over here we have partially cut off but my girl Minnie Mouse with a toe whip oh my gosh that's so adorable and weirdly enough the Disneyland small world facade if you don't know this I also love small world <laughs> I don't know I like the like boat rides that take a while because you know like you, you get air conditioning you get to sit down for a while it's a nice cool break I appreciate them and I love forcing other people to go on them because they're always like, what is this? I remember when I worked there, I went with someone that I worked with and they had never been on It's a Small World before. And they were like, yeah, I don't need to do that again. <laughs> I was like, what? It's amazing. <laughs> Anywho, um, but then there also is, sorry, back to the bag. <laughs> then there is the cutoff of Mickey and I think he's, oh, he's looking at a park map so adorable um in the castle and then it has the Walt Disney World stamped logo I love that okay this is where you can see the damage there is a little bit in the corners here and there but again not too bad it's obviously been used um and then on the top part of the pocket you get another partial castle some fireworks that kind of stuff in the front you get a full Mickey with a little bit of castle I will say the placement probably wouldn't have been my first choice on this bag I definitely would have wanted more of um like the castle I probably would have wanted like a castle here and like um a tree of life there but you know what second hand you can't be picky for the price you can't really be picky um but we also have Chip and Dale which you can see the tree of life in the background they're the icons for um Animal Kingdom which is perfect because they're not my favorite Fab Five character. That I think has become Pluto. <laughs> they're definitely my second favorite. I love Chip and Dale. I don't know, I just, it's like the like banter, the duo, the like, it reminds me a little bit of me and my siblings, but also just like, they're hilarious. They're so underrated, I love them so much. Anywho, <laughs> moving on. Um, you can't really see much, unfortunately, for the Animal Kingdom, which again is my favorite movie, or not my favorite movie, my favorite park, but that's okay okay um then on the other side you see the rest of the magic kingdom you see the top of Minnie mouse and then there's a little dumbo and the magic kingdom stamp thing i'm sorry that looked like i was trying to hit the camera and then some more fireworks up here and then you can see that's not the glitter that's actually it's been rubbed off on the front unfortunately which is fine because again from the distance you can't really tell 
which is fine with me. I don't think I'm gonna use this to be completely honest. I want it to stay in the condition it's in even though it is well loved and normally when I buy bags used, I buy them used so that I can use them and I'll feel comfortable using them and I don't have to cut tags off. But for this one, I think I wanna keep it <laughs> in the nice condition, not the nice condition, in the condition that it's currently in. Um, and then the side, we have a repeat of Goofy and another partial mini, kind of a repeat of the front pocket. And then on the other side, <laughs> my favorite, we have Minnie Mouse again like eating her Dole Whip, the full Magic Kingdom, and then the Walt Disney World placard. Let's just like stay on her for a second. Oh my gosh, is that teacups? I also have an obsession with teacups and I also wonder why I'm, you guys. Oh, I love that. And yes, it does have side pockets, which you know, I love side pockets. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like literally already at seven minutes and I have two more bags to go. <laughs> I apologize, it's gonna be a long one, guys. I'm gonna be gushing over these bags. All right, and then on top, we have the full animal kingdom, which has my two boys, <sighs> Chip and Dale. Also, side note, the new Chip and Dale movie also has made me love them more. And we have the safari. Oh my gosh, this gives this is bringing back so many memories. The safari guide like truck, and then the Tree of Life, and Animal Kingdom like stamped on. And again, we have Magic Kingdom, and then just slices of the rest of it. We got a lot of figment on this bag guys a lot of figment and then on the back i'm gonna go ahead and show you the back because it has pretty much the full everything except for animal kingdom on it we got the full mickey oh with the trains on it too that's really cute we got the full magic kingdom we got the full or not pluto i keep wanting to call pluto figment um the full um goofy and all of that straps actually don't look too bad there's a few little pieces you can kind of see it's cracking a little bit so maybe i won't do that actually um the hanger thing actually looks pristine sorry i'm just like also investigating because i did look at it um okay and then so the part that has the worst damage is like the back corner right here you can see it's pretty much all rubbed off and it's like Kind of been like that and before everyone judges me for spending $50 on a bag in this condition again I've never seen a bag this particular style this low and like for $50 I personally felt like oh my gosh I keep hitting the mic I'm sorry if that changes the sound quality um for this particular bag this low so you can judge me all you want but personally I do think it was worth it um oh my gosh I love it the back does have the design too, so you do get to see the full Chip and Dale down there. But oh my gosh, I love this, you guys. I was not expecting to love it as much as I do, but it's one of those bags. I've talked about this before. I loved detailed bags where you can look at it and find new details. I love that. And this is definitely one of them. Oh, I'm so excited. I love it. Moving on, we are going to take a look at the only bag that's going to be new with tags in this video. And it is new with tags, but I don't think it was properly stored because there is a few like scuffs on it, which is why I was able to get it for the price that I was able to get it. I think I spent either 85 or 90, something like that on it. Um, and it is a bag that I've wanted since it came out. I tried to get it and it sold out like that. It was the like, I think it was, what year was it? 2021 Comic-Con. And I was like on the website trying to click the buy. And I couldn't get it. And it is the Evil Queen, I think it was Funko Con convention exclusive from 2021. You guys, this bag when it first came out was selling for like $300. Obviously I did not pay that. Like I said, I paid either $85 or $95, something like that. And I don't remember if that was with shipping or not. Maybe it was $85 without shipping and $85 with shipping, something like that. I don't know. Either way, I am so excited to look at this bag. Okay, first of all, I love lenticular elements. And what is a more per perfect lenticular element than the magic mirror? I mean, come on, guys. That's so perfect. And of course, we have Evil Queen. Her face is fully embroidered. And her crown is a little bent, but that was because of my storage purposes. I, like, wasn't storing it correctly. Um... But then the side has glow in the dark, glow in the dark guys, glow in the dark, evil apple, not evil apples, 
it's poison apples um it doesn't have side pockets which is fine because i'm not going to use it but worth noting and then the other side just has like drips it doesn't have the whole face and of course it has the disney placard which is all black this is a zipper pocket i love when they don't like put a zipper where you can see it like it's a hidden zipper um which is actually kind of useful i like it when they zip on the top oh <laughs> her face continues but they didn't give her a mouth i don't know how i feel about that this is the interior lining in case you were curious let me try and get a better shot of it there we go just a nice poison apple <coughs> oh my gosh also a side note i got sick <laughs> like the couple days after Christmas in between New Year's and Christmas and I'm like still coming out of it so like if I sound all nasally that is why I apologize um because talking for a while is now making it act up again anyway we have gold hardware which is very nice and it is like a soft patent leather no texture really there is the straps guys they are also glow in the dark and they also drip how adorable is that oh my gosh there is a back kit which is just the old hag i don't like calling her the old hag but i guess the old hag version of um evil queen oh my gosh my brain is like <laughs> as i keep filming i'm like losing my words <laughs> um and then the one piece of like um damage that it has is on the actual hook there is like a chunk taken out basically um, which again, it's not a big deal because like from the front, you cannot tell, you cannot tell. This does need to be like reformed a little bit. I will say all of the edging is like impressed on, but it's not, um, embroidered on, but it is still really nice. I love the detail of it. Like, look at this. This is one of my favorite images. The, the, this Snow White is one of my favorite images and it's on the DCE bag that I have of it love it so much i'm so excited this was my number one grail for a really long time this is actually was this the first one of the three that i'm going to show that i bought i've had it since i think like july or august and i just haven't shown you guys because i i don't know i've been buying so many bags and i keep like pushing it off and pushing it off i did show it in my reorganization thing i think and i was like oh, a little sneak peek but yeah, look at it, it's so pretty. I love it. I love it so much. On to the third bag, and the one I'm arguably most excited. Okay guys, I'm about to show you guys my number one grail. The bag that I have wanted for the longest time, pretty much since I started collecting. And when I started collecting, um, I don't remember if this one was still in, no, it must've been, because I started collecting in 2019, and I think it came out in 2019. But by the time I really started collecting, it was out of stores and ridiculously expensive. Now it is even more ridiculously expensive. The lowest I've seen it is like $250 to $300. And the most expensive I've seen it, me with tags, is like six, seven hundred dollars. I did not pay that much. I actually traded for this bag. Um, I had a few more expensive bags that I had either bought below retail or at retail, and I traded those bags for this bag um i actually don't even remember which ones i bought i think they were ones that i had bought really early on collecting and someone was like trading this bag and i was like i showed them what i had and they were like these two so i did trade two for one which is perfectly fine it is the og sleeping beauty castle lounge fly bag let me get it out of the plastic so i can show you guys so like I said, this isn't like my grail grails. And no, I did not get it new with tags, unfortunately. Um, I did get it ECU and there is literally like one piece of damage on it. So like, so happy with it. Couldn't be happier, sorry, I'm just like staring at it. I actually saw someone wearing this in the parks a few years ago and I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if they know. <laughs> I wonder if they know. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen it out of the packaging yet. I've been keeping it in the plastic bag just to keep it like nice and pristine and everything. And I think it'll go back in the plastic bag once I'm done with this video. Cause like I said, it's my like grail of grails. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's in my possession. Okay, let me show you guys the details. Um, like if you're a lounge shy person, you'll get it. And if you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're about to see me like geek out all over this. Okay, first of all, it is pretty much all screen printed on which I do like embroidery, but you know, screen printed, it's good too. <laughs> Here is the one ding. 
like I said, not too bad, not too bad. I honestly don't know what this would be valued at. Like I said, I traded for it, so I don't know. But here is the front castle portion. It does come off a little bit, and I, I thought this was, like, damaged. But as it turns out, I, like, looked it up, and all bags are like this. And it does have a hidden zipper pocket, which we know how I feel about that. So we're just gonna tuck it in and make it look pristine. Um, it does have fireworks up top and it has silver hardware. The pylons are on the side. Um, and then the Disney Parks ooh, logo like blends in. Like, I'm so excited, you guys. Now, something I didn't realize and it's still coming off as black, but this color is not back. It's like a really dark navy. I know it still looks black, but I'm telling you, it's a dark navy and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it to come across. It's kind of- Sorry, I was interrupted by the thing telling me I was running out of storage. So I'm gonna try and finish this up quick <laughs> so I can get this through. Also, I'm at 12% battery on my phone. So let's get through this. <laughs> Anywho, back to this bag. Like I was saying, this is like a light, or not a light, a dark navy blue. Um, it has gold hardware and then it also has side pockets, which I love. Um, and the back, it did come with bag straps, which I appreciate. Oh, actually, wait. It's interesting. Oh, it's because it's been rubbed down so much. Unfortunately, there is some tarnishing on the back hardware, which I'm not going to use this. I'm going to be 1000% honest with you. I'm not going to use it. It's just going to be a display piece. So, but yeah, let me give you a little 180 so you can get the full effect. There's not, I'm gonna be honest, there's not a ton of details on this bag. So I just wanted to show you guys the front, which I feel like the coolest thing to me that I never noticed is the fireworks and the clouds. And like the fact that it's navy, like makes me think it's supposed to be like night sky type of thing, which makes sense in like retrospect, but whatever. <laughs> and then the inside, I'm gonna try and show it as delicately as possible. This is the interior lining, which has a bunch of the like icons. It has Space Mountain. Um, the California Adventure, oh my gosh, what is it called? Oh my gosh, what is the building right at the entrance that they decorate for Oogie Boogie? Okay, let me know in the comments down below because I cannot think of it. And then like Splash Mountain is on there. They have like a bunch of the stamps type of thing. I don't want to open it fully because I don't want to damage it or grease it or anything. But oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. I think I'm actually going to put this in the background like right here. So if you see it in my next video and um but yeah oh my gosh i love it so 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 much thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below what your favorite bag from this video was um i love all of them but like nothing can top my ultimate grail um i'm so excited to share you guys share this with you guys i have a whole bunch of hauls to come still i've actually filmed three already <laughs> that before this one i think this one's actually gonna come out first um but i have more to come i'm trying to catch up on everything you guys I'm trying my best with that all being said i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did um give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe for more magic from me and once again comment down below what you guys think of my bags with that all being said i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day bye